Alright, another day, another dollar, another Premier Draft Dominier United Alchemy. Uh, okay, so this is a, the new Alchemy set, and I imagine a lot of people get stressed over this set because there's a lot of like interesting new cards in the set. And I'm here to convince you that just because they exist in the set doesn't make the format any different than it was. The removal's slightly more, a, little, a lot better. There's a few OP cards in the set that can be a little daunting but the alchemy didn't really negate this format too much so we're going to start this draft uh hopefully we get enough people for it uh well sooner than later but because waiting sucks but from my experiences i've done two drafts so far i didn't do so well uh because i was drafting with the idea that the alchemy cards were going to be much better than they were and some of them are good but the set is still pretty powerful on its own, so I I would say that we just need to make sure when we draft, we're drafting with our a clear focus and a clear mind. Okay, so the Partisan's not a very good card, but we do have Cutdown. Cutdown is decent. Terra Sunder's pretty strong. Um, the Sergeant here, I have drafted with this guy. I like this card. Uh, my issue is it's not first pickable. It's definitely not in the first picks. This is an easy one of those alchemy cards you can pass. Um, because Cut Down, Tear Asunder, these two cards are already better than this one. Uh, I think Talos Lookout is better than Sargent. And Bailoth is better. So we have three cards here, or four I should say, that are better than this one. Uh, there are some alchemy cards that you kind of just take because they're super good. Um, but we, we'll come to those as we do. I think here, my favorite card out of all of these is probably Terra Sunder. Um, this is one of the best removal spells for the Domain list, and I feel like Domain is actually very good in this format with the new Alchemy updates. But Terra Sunder is just a super good card, and the rest of that pack had some really powerful cards. Okay, so Keldon Fire Mage has impressed me when I'm in Blue Red, and only in Blue Red. Haven't been too impressed by it in any other means. Uh, the Doral Gaz Whelp is interesting, but not. It's a 2-1 flyer for 2, so at that rate, it's a good card. The fact when you kick it, um, you can kick it as a 3-2, I think, flyer. But if you don't have any other dragons in your deck, it's not going to be that good of a payoff to kick. So it's a decent flyer, so I would consider that when you're making the decision on a card like this. Instead of just passing it, it could be decent. But here we have ter a Tail Swipe. I think this is the pick uh, that I would go with here. It falls in line with green, and then gives us two removal spells that are on color and uh, functional. This pack actually has some decent cards in it. I do like the, the Mungs, but there's some pretty good cards in this pack, needless to say. Okay. Trove Mage. This card was played against me. It wasn't very good, but it didn't matter. The rest of their deck was very good, so the artifact they wouldn't got was just like the uh, mana ramp card. It was just not necessary. So Trove Mage is another alchemy card. Not that impressive. However, what we have here is kind of a dead pack for the most part. So granted, we are going to be playing Tailswipe, and granted, we're going to play Terra Sunder. That means that we're going to be splashing black for Terra Sunder. So Urborg Repossession is a real spell. I like this card quite a bit. But if we are going to play Domain, I think we take the Aquifer here. And I think that would be a fine addition to our deck. So we're going to take the Aquifer because um, it's good. Okay, Burke uh, Bone Rattle, very good card here. Another Whelp we here. Now, granted, we could have had two at this point, and we would have had two 2-1 two flyers for two mana, which I can't stress enough, is a very solid cost. But Bone Rattle is exactly the kind of card we want for this list. We could take a Bog here, but Bone Rattle is a great domain spell. It's still a very good card at this point. Citizen's Arrest is a fine spell. Uh, I find it to be less good in this format, where it, there are more cards that can interact with enchantments now. So I think it's a little bit less good in the, in the format. All right, we can pass a decent card here in Night of Dust Shadow. I think in the Alchemy set draft here, I think Astor is a little bit better. There are a lot more 
functional cards to go with this. Uh, not off the top of my head at right this second, but there are a few more functional cards. Outside of that, this pack uh, kind of gives us a idea like Beachfront. I would like to take that, but I think the Dust Knight is perfect for our black-green base that we got here. Okay, so we could take Ridgeline. I think that might be the pick here. Granted, uh, Keldon Strike, Strike Team is decent, and there is a Terrell um, Fury Rider. I think that card's okay. Uh, well, better than okay. It's pretty good. And then there's a Caves. I think we're just going to take the Ridge Line just to make sure our mana's good, and we can play our deck accordingly. Okay, so Dragon Wolf was very good. Uh, I do like Mog Sentry. The Claw gets a little bit better with the new Dragon spells that they have in here, and Dragon Wolf is pretty decent. But I think we're going to take the Sentry here just to have a big beater. It's just good to stay consistent. And granted, there is a lot more removal now in the format. It's still not that great. So here we could take in uh, Thrall the Pit. I think that's a pretty good splash card for Domain. It's a nice ending. There's a lot more creatures in the format that you have to deal with in the late game. Or at least I feel that way. We could take uh, Garna. Garna would be decent here. But I think we'll take Enthrall the Pit. Negate actually is a little bit better now as well. But I think Thrall is a fine pick here. Okay. So we got our Bailoff. That's great. Having threats is just a good good thing to have. And it's a green pit, so we can afford the double green cost. Nice. We got the Aquifer. That's going to be good for our deck. We could take Stall for Time. That's also a good card. Uh, Bone Splinters, not so much for our deck. Our Count on Preachers is going to be low, and we don't have a lot of tokens for it. So there is a Drove Mage here, Apparition, and a an, uh, Pixie. I guess we'll take the Pixie here. It's a good fixer for the Domain. Um, it's a fine enough card. I like Phyrexian Warhorse. I think it's a pretty good card. Can he an easy fit to our deck? Um, Amplifier is a good card, but I don't think I'd take it here. I think I'd rather have a, s a Spinner. It's a decent enough card to block. There's maybe a Tidge more Flyers. All right, so Karn Silex is very good. I had it in one of my match uh, my decks yesterday. It was really good, but Vesuvian Mist is busted. So we're going to take that instead. Bouncing their best permanent and giving yourself the permanent instead is very good. Karn Silex is a nice wrath, though. So I think we're going to have to make a decision between those two. Uh, my other cards I like in this pack, Bite Down's great. Outrider's great. Iconis is great. So... There's some pretty decent picks here we can hit. And there's a Salt Marsh. Um, man, Vesuvian Mist is very good. Yeah, I'm going to take the Mist here. It's so good. Being able to copy their best card and put it back in their hand and just offset their tempo plays is very good. Um, so, Spell Chain Scatter. This is a good card. You don't necessarily have to kick it in order for you to get the the effect. But if you kick it, you get to keep the card. Otherwise, you have to discard it at, during your next end step, which is... Oh, right, because you can do it instant speed. This card is quite good. Um, yeah, it, it's a good card. I like it. Um, Inferno's pretty medium. Shieldred is a... Or the Rona. A Rona's okay. Lookout is pretty strong. But I think we're going to go with the Sacred Peaks here. And just keep our domain flowing. We need to make sure we're getting that to go. Okay. Um, I think we'll go with Bite Down here. It's a decent removal spell. And I think Talarian uh, Terror is a very good card. Um, but we have to make sure we're taking uh, good spells um, as a removal like I was saying before, removal is very important in this format. And I think uh, Tolerian Terror is very good, but our deck doesn't necessarily have all that many spells yet. We don't have any of the draw spells, so I feel like it's uh, too early to take. Okay, uh, I do love Monstrous War Leech. I think that card's very good. I do have to talk about this Vanellish Knight, Cancel, uh, Knight Counselor. Uh, it's a 2 1 for 1 in list. So that's already pretty good. Enlist on a one drop is pretty nuts. Um, and when you enlist this, uh, when you the enlist, whenever you enlist this creature, this creature gets a boon. 
uh, you get a boon that the next creature you play gets a plus a plus one counter when it gets uh, put into the battlefield, which is really strong. But Monstrous Leech is very good in the black green list. I think it's one of the better shelled cards. Um, so Urborg Repossession is a pretty strong card. Shore Up is actually, I think Shore Up's value has gone up in this format, but we need our duels to make sure that our domain is being hit correctly. Um, I do like Necromass here. Necromass is just one of those cards that plays really well with the leeches. And I think we'll just take the, uh, the leech here over the Haunted Mire. And there is something to be said about this, this arena. I just don't think that this is the card for our deck. So we're just going to take a Necromass here. Okay, so we'll just take a Tribuary. We'll be happy with that. Domain is very open right now, it looks like, in our table, which makes me very happy. Um, okay, so we'll take the uh, Sojourner. This goes perfectly in our deck. Works really well with the War Leech. So I'm hoping to see another War Leech in our next pack. Um, I'll take a secondary Pixie here. It's possible that we get to play that with the, the amount of dual ends we've gotten. So I'm just going to take the Faithful. If we get enough duels, we'll play it. Otherwise, it'll just be a nice card to have taken from someone else. What makes this card good is when you start to flood out, it's a nice card to trade with other cards. And you can trade pretty early with it. Um, I do like Kelton's Strike Team. It's nice to be able to go wide. But I think uh, the Battle for uh, the Swarm here is a decent creature. All right, I'll take another War Horse over the Inscribed Tablet. I don't think the Tablet's very good. I'm not a huge fan of the Dijin. I think the Dijin's actually a trap. That's not a very good card. And Meteorite is decent. That might make the cut. Okay, so the Construct here is good, but the Missionary is also good. So I'm going to highlight this card. This card was amazing for me in the deck that I got to play it in. Where I had a heavy amount of Phyrexian creatures and human creatures uh, in there. And it was an Esper list, so it was very decent. Here we have some issues. We have a lot of different archetypes of creatures. But we could still lean on taking this because it is a decent card. But Missionary is such an exceptional card and so good with the Bone Rattle. The this combo is, I think, transcends the alchemy. So we'll take the Missionary here. Uh, and then... Honestly, I think I would take a Rager over the Construct at this point. Just because of how light we're going to be on creatures. Yeah, so far we have some decent land drops. We want to make sure that we're we're taking the non-green duels for our domain deck. But, uh, you know, we also want to make sure we're taking cards. Okay, so this is a payoff for our domain list. For a light creature deck, this card is quite good. I've been very impressed with this card. I'm not surprised it's passed at this point, because this table does not look like they're in Domain. Uh, Maro is also very good here. I would have liked to have taken either, because I could have used another 5-drop, but I definitely could use another 2-drop. So we'll take this here. It's just a super good card. So we have 6 duels, all that we'll be playing, which puts us at 20 cards, not 26. So we are looking for uh, very playable cards at this point. We are, if we get any duels, I might take them unless they give us something useful. Okay, so the Vine Soul Spider, I actually like this card. It's not so great in the, <laughs> in the domain decks where you need to draw your lands, but it's still a very good creature. A 3-2, and it has reach, is pretty good. But we, there's also a Rager here. We don't have very many 3-drops in our deck. The red-green duel is not as necessary, and I think the Rager is a pretty good card here. Yeah, just having a good cantrip creature is very good, so we'll take that. All right, still no war leeches. Um, Rune shot is decent, but I feel like our deck isn't going to need that kind of splash. Uh, I think we'll just take another Sentry here and just have a big, another big beater. Uh, I am tempted to take the Islet here, but we're going to take a Sentry. I just think this card's very good. Okay, our deck could definitely use a Turg. Granted, it is double black, but we're black-green base, so I think this is quite good here. So we'll take the Turg. 
So we're at six lands. We're at 23 spells as is right now. Cards that I don't necessarily have to play is Into the Thrall. So, okay. So we got another card to make up for that. So we can cut the Thrall at this point. Uh, I don't want red cards in my deck. I will take these red lands and play them because of our donate need. Um, at this point, I think we have our deck. I think Shore Up is probably a good enough spell to take here to replace uh, a card in our deck. I'm just not quite sure which one it will be. But I'll take Shore Up. I think Talos' Lookout is great, but we have plenty of cards that are in this slot. And a double blue card is not something I'm interested in right now. At this point in the draft. So, Diminished Returner is okay. And I think it's pretty good here because of our double black. And we need another three drop. I'll take it over the Necromass at this point. I think this is quite good. In our list. Um, I'll just take this. At this point, we're going to... I doubt they'll give us something we want. Plaza of a Hero is not that great. I'll just take another Sentry here. I don't know how many war horses I really want to play at this point, so I'm free to cut those. Um, Scavenger is a very good card at this point in our deck. Uh, and the Brigade is fine. So we're at... We're still over. I'll just take this. Another Scavenger is fine. So I don't think we're going to take Pixies here. Uh, keep our Pixies in our deck. Because I don't really want to devote that much blue in our, our our early game. So I think these are pretty easy. I don't mind Shore Up being a trick. And these two green black cards are fine. Mist is more of a 4-drop. And so is Missionary. So we still have these. And Terra Center is also a 4-drop. So we have a lot of 4-drops here. We have to cut something. <clears throat> No, we're not an aggro deck, but we can be a mid-range deck. So I don't know how much I want to play the Brigade. I think we'll cut that here. So Sojourner, we're going to try to attempt to get it to be at least a 4-drop, if not 3-drop in our deck. So it's going to be more over in this area, maybe here. We did take some decent duels for it, minus the Woodland Ridge. So this is more of a... Uh, any here... Now, we don't have any fixing, which is a little little of a... Uh, we, we, we have fixing, but we don't have any ways to tutor. Granted, we do have one, two, three white sources for our missionary, so check there. Uh, our blue mana, we have one, two, three, four. We have four blue mana. Uh, two of them is on color with our other main color, so that's good here. So we have th uh, four blue sources. For our two scavengers, a shore up, and our mist. Which we will be playing these. At least we're going to play the mist and the shore up. We don't necessarily need to play the scavengers to have a good deck here. Um, granted, if we did cut them, I would probably bring in my... Uh, probably spinner and a barricade. And maybe that's what I should do. I think scavenger is pretty medium, but it can be pretty good at fixing our, our cards. My issue with Scavenger that I've ran into is that if we need land, that's where it's good. But if we need a spell, that's where it becomes bad. Because if we need a spell to solve our issue, but we're also tied on mana, and uh, our opponent's put enough pressure on us, Scavenger's not going to be good enough to come over the top with that. And right now, our creature count is quite high. So I think we can uh, be a little bit more particular about the cards we play in our deck. Uh, Granted, Shore Up, I put it in the 3 spot here, but it could be really much anywhere. We could even put it in a 5 spot. More likely a 6 spot spell. That the, the restriction on this card states, in my opinion, it states, use when necessary. It's not a card that you need right away. And that could be said about Tail Swipe as well. Use when necessary and Bite Down. So we are definitely desperate for some early game stuff. And Spider, a uh, Snare Spinner. I don't remember the card we took it over, but it was definitely not a green or black card. So I think we're going to play the Snare Spinner in our list just to make sure we have some some interactive cards in the early game, even if it is just sp Snare Spinner. And I don't mind having another more consistent 3-drop 
since our four drop slot is so high that we'll just play barricade here and i feel like this is a proper way to address your your issues if you're playing a five color deck you need to make sure that you have basically a baseline color or two and stick to that baseline color those baseline colors and then just add the splash cards as you need them um scavengers are not that great i think barricade's a fine enough card to play early and uh and this is also a fun enough card to play early and there's decent enough flyers that this card trades up with that and sometimes it's just really good it's good against the uh the drake which you will see a lot of the th two three drake but it's also good against some of the other cards that are uh in the alchemy set so i think spare standard stock went up in this format at least in the alchemy version so overall, I think this looks pretty good. Uh, I'm happy with a lot of the beatdown aspects. Hopefully this card is more hovering around our three drops than our four. But we do have a heavy set of four. So I might keep hands that have a little bit more lands, but that does add a bit more risk to our deck. But I think our deck looks pretty strong here at this point. We're just going to make sure that our mana is correct. So we have three white sources, I think is perfect for the fact of our one missionary. We have one, two, three, four blue sources for our two blue cards, which I think are fine. Um, and the only reason why we can play that is because we are going to run the uh, tributary because it does produce uh, well with like sharp. If we go sunlit marsh into tributary and the next turn forest, we can play our sentry or our sojourner on turn three, which is pretty powerful play for this card. Uh, turn four is pretty good too, and uh, it's fairly decent which our turn fours are going to be very important. So there is something to be said that we could go down a century because um, we do have four of them and add an additional land and maybe even just cut a barricade. But I think we need our low drops so much that I don't think that's going to be the case. But we might need to cut one of our sentries for an additional land here. We only have one, two, three six black sources and we have several cards with double black by several we have two but they're very necessary on turn three so i kind of want to up the count on swamps so i think we'll cut one century to cover that cost and go to 18 lands now we don't have a ton of ways to draw cards but we do have a ton of ways to well we do have good cards we have the wandering tree folk uh which is great we uh and, and getting our creatures out of our deck and put them in our hand um we have rager good cantrip uh gibbering by arcade can be good at sacrificing itself to just cantrip and protect ourselves um and we we also have erg so that can hopefully help us out so our ca card value cards we have uh bone turk bone rattle Frexian missionary and Vesuvian Mist. This is a very good card economy. So you could bounce their best card and then use it against them. So it's kind of cool. I like this. And then we have seven green sources, which I think is fair. We only have one double green, but it's pretty late, and everything else is one mana. And I'm getting a ton of text. So. Okay, we're going to go into this with uh, 18 land, which I think is fair for the domain decks. Uh... We didn't get any of the draw draw spells, but we do have a lot of the draw creatures, so I think we'll be okay on that, and I think as long as we go into this game thinking that we're going to play well and have a good time, that's the main point. If we want to win, that would be even better. Okay, so instead, now we'll just get to the gameplays and play our best of fun matches, and hopefully we just grind through this like it's no big deal. My friend is uh, excited about <laughs> his day, so uh, I'm happy to, to hear it. So we're playing against RK12, I don't know who that is. but Okay, so we have a Sojourner. At this point, with these three lands, it is unplayable to turn 5. And a 4-6 on turn 5 is not great. Our Diminisher cannot be played on turn 3, so our turn 3 is not here. 
And then we basically have two four drops. We're on the draw, so if we do draw land, it's most likely going to be either a swamp or a forest. Preferably a swamp at this point. Uh, which would be great with our diminishing diminished return. The other cards in our deck cost single black and other than another double black card. So if we draw an Urg, it would be pretty punishing here. Um, so we're kind of like in this weird mixed bag of like different choices we can have here. We don't have a ton of two drops, so I think mulliganing to a two drop is not why we're doing it. a mulligan here. And I, I just think that this hand is actually decent enough to keep on the draw that I think we're just going to keep it. I, just, I think we should. We get punished, we get punished. Uh, but sometimes you just got to have to gamble in this format because you're not you're not going to have the perfect hands, especially when you're like this. So we already got punished here with our first draw. So we still have two more draw steps to hit a black source to play our returned. We still have two more draw steps to get a card that we need. Uh, they'll probably just take the Terra Sunder at this point. I would take the Terra Sunder. Pilfer is a pretty okay card if you can get it on turn two because it can really mess up things. Okay, so we got a we have a playable planes here, which we should probably play because that does get this active. I just don't know how much I want to use our missionary here as a two three, but maybe we do. No, I think we still would rather play this on turn turn three because we can still follow up and play it next turn. Okay. Yeah, so we're we're at that point of the game. So now we'll be able to cast this. I don't really need to play our missionary, so I'm not going to. I'd rather save it to get back our sojourner. They missed another land drop here. That's pretty good. We'll play our land, and we'll just play our dude. And we won. Yeah, they kept an insanely risky hand to just pilfer us for nothing. That, yeah, I don't think pilfer's that good. You definitely shouldn't have kept a hand if you had no other plays with, other than pilfer. Now, granted, they just got screwed on mana. But you know what? That was their choice to keep a hand like that on the play. You know, we at least took our time with our, our, our kind of okay hand. I'm not saying my, my decision to keep was the right call. We could definitely mulligan. I just know that if we we're trying to mulligan for a low-cost card, it would come out at a cost that was too great. And since we are an 18-lane deck and we only had three lands in our hand, uh, I think the hand is good enough to keep it at that point. Okay, this is a much better version of the same hand we had before. Granted, we do have multiple cards that cost two, three three of our cards, but yet we do have a good domain curve, so that makes me pretty happy here. Nice. Okay, so we'll have our mana when we need it. Uh, I like starting on... Oh, it doesn't matter. Another Pilfer! People must really think this card is necessary. I guess it is. I mean, they're going to take the Vesuvian Mist here, but they could take the, the, the Tree Folk or something else. I don't know. There is something to say about taking Pilfer. Okay, that's what they want to do. I guess we'll just play Tree Folk at this point. Or, no. I, I actually would rather have this in my hand. Because I Diminishing Returned is... Diminished Return Returner is a pretty good card here. Nice. And I'm happy to play this here. Like, I'm not going to bounce to this drawbridge, but I might bounce a rager. Nice. So this only costs three. That's pretty gross. We'll attack for four. They know about our other cards, but we'll play Sojourner. I probably won't bounce a rager now that I think about it. Putting that back in their hand, giving them another card is not great. When we can just, like, punch in pretty hard here. I 
I'm surprised they took the knight. That's very weird. It's unfortunate that I don't have a green source there because then we could have activated this. But we can protect our creature uh, by returning it to our hand if we need to. And I think this is worth protecting. Okay, so they've used two cards to deal with two of our creatures. Chaplain, okay, that card's okay. Not too worried about that. Nice. Shore up is a very good draw here. I think we don't need to do this. We don't need to do anything other. I think we will just attack with our Diminisher and see what they do. And we'll just take O at this point. I'm going to try to not play too slow. I've been wanting to make sure our videos are going faster. But sometimes there's a crucial play here. Like not doing anything here is fine. There's just a lot of different plays we could make here. And I think doing nothing is okay. Because we still are ahead on board. Especially if they're not going to block. Now if they went for like a block on this guy I actually would have been fine with it so even though I want to get value on this I don't want them getting a flyer here although a flyer is not the end of the world we could copy this but I, I just don't want to bounce that back to their hand this is not worth it all right, I wonder what they'll get. This is kind of where where I'm like, okay, they can have the 1-1. One, one. I'm not really worried about it. Show me what you're going to get with this. This is what matters. I want to know. If they get another Sentinel Wall, I'm just going to kill the Chaplain. Okay. They can hit us here. I don't really care. All right, let's draw a card. Nice. Um, what sucks is we only have the one green mana. Uh, I think we send it with the diminished again. I'm debating whether I play uh, like pike this off here and then swing with both. Hmm. No, we'll just we'll just swing with the diminished. It's fine. Okay, um, I could just shore up, but I don't mind this going to the graveyard because we can just get it back. I think we're just going to kill the chaplain here. we can just bring this back so we'll just pass sure
think we're going to bounce this and get a copy for ourselves. That way, because this is actually good enough to do that with. I want to make sure we have blue, blue open for shore up. Sure. I wonder what they're keeping their mana open for. Okay. Um yeah, we'll just uh we'll just play this at this point, but we don't need to have this up. I don't know why. Yeah, we hit Diamond yesterday doing Midnight Hunt drafts, which was kind of cool. Uh, no. That's pretty good for us to counter theirs. So, I think we're free to attack here with our 4-4, since we have multiple ways to get it back. We're just going to play the game where we grind them out with our creatures. Okay. Sure. This is a race that favors us because we know what we have. This is fine.
And now we got their life gain off the board. And we have two four fours again. Paragon's a bit of a problem. I'll, I will admit that now. But they tap out, then we can hold back our sentry. I'm easily going to attack my rattle here. Okay, well placed Terra Sunder is going to be nuts. Uh, definitely attacking with our Bone Rattle here. So they have three, four, five, six, seven in the air next turn. We have a sentry that can block, so they'll have to use this to get past it. So we have two plays here we could make. We could play these two right here, put a five, five, and a four, six into play, gain two life, go to 11. If they draw call, that'll give them five damage plus three which is 8 plus 2 more, and that'll put it at 10, and we'll go to 1, if that is the play, because they'll be able to tap down our sentry. I don't think that's the play. I think the play is leave up Terra Sunder and get him. But putting a creature into play, that's our life total up by 1. So. Granted, they do get to play their Rager if that's what they want. I mean, we could get another card out of our deck, I guess. The entire center only costs two mana for us to get that, so we're just going to draw here. That's actually pretty good. We only have one, uh, we only have two green mana, though. Um, I will play my land for turn. And I think we attack with these two. And not this entry. They're going to tap something, maybe. Not surprising. This exile, so I don't mind killing that. I think they were hoping that the barricade would die.
this deck is very grindy. Our opponent's deck is very grindy. As ours is as well. Sure. Interesting. Don't believe there's an instant speed card. Yeah, we're just gonna take out their arrest here. I think they know that's what we're doing, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Now they could have join forces here, and I'm thinking that's what they have. Because you don't make this attack unless you have like a way of defending it. But it's okay. I guess if they have the join forces, I kind of want to make them use it. And we'll block here. Yeah. I'll still block the Paragon. If they have the join forces, or maybe we're supposed to block the Protector on the off chance they have the indestructible plus one counter lifelink card. Okay, so that's what I had. That's okay. Now they're down to two creatures. Do they have a plan? To deal with that? They can gain an additional life. I mean, we have a lot of damage coming at them this turn. They block these two, they're still dead. Because... Hmm... Because the death touch on one of these guys will kill it. Yeah. I think they messed up. I guess they could sacrifice the drawbridge and replay it. Yeah, that's what it, they're going to do. Yeah, they realize they made a mistake. <sighs> okay. So, I think we still make the attack with everything, but if we are, we should play this first. That way we can get back our sentry. And we want to gain our life. It's very important that we gain our life here. they have some weird blocks they can make here but it doesn't hurt me that much okay they're still taking eight now they're only taking four we are going to gain two life from our missionary here they lose a life. And uh, we can just say go at this point. They can do eight to us, nine if they have an extra creature, but this will cost them three mana. Okay, they have the other creature they need. They tap down our sentry. Okay. Yeah, they were too good, quick to that good game there. Yeah, they made a mistake. We got them to, we baited them into it. So, yeah, our alchemy card did come in clutch there. But that was because our opponent blundered and they played right into our play.
It's good to have good spatial around, uh, awareness. So we're 2-0. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. Our results are 2 and pretty good. Uh, last night's results on this alchemy set was not good. But I was drafting in a weird way, so I'm glad I got to test it. Because I'm not proud of my results from last night. They were pretty bad. I think I went 0-3. I drafted uh, red, red green um, domain. To be fair, though, our, my matches were insanely grindy, and they were back and forth, but my opponents just always seemed to have more draw than me. I don't, I don't even understand that at all. Okay, so we have red, white, blue, and green. That's pretty good lineup for our deck, and we have two and a three drop. Granted, we can't play our three drop yet, but we have one of our decent two drops here. Yeah, we just need to make sure we hit one of our... 15 lands left in our library. Okay. I will not attack here because this is my only playable and I don't want it to die to stupid destroy target creature. Okay. We might get a lesson on not having enough mana. Oh, nope. The lesson was not. Uh, I'm not above trading for this tortoise. <laughs> I'll say that right now. Because this is a card that I don't really want to deal with. Because we have another, we have plenty of creatures in our deck, so this is fine with me. They want to add to the board, fine. I could play another creature. We draw an untapped land. We can just play Bailoff. Bailoff is pretty safe on this board at this point based on the colors. Okay. Let's play Bailoff here. This is one of those games where my seven lands, my seven swamps aren't cutting it here. We definitely do need one swamp to really make this hand go. If they attack with a worm, I'll have to block. I don't, especially, well, no, we have this, we have the spinner, so. I guess we don't have to block. We really can't attack, so we have to pass. Let's just hope that this is a mana flood and not that they can't play their red spells right now. Mm. I mean, I'm happy to draw that, but not without black mana. I mean, I mean like on this board, I don't really see anything I'd want to trade for other than the worm. Yeah, they're flooding pretty hard. It says we're kind of screwed. It kind of evens out, but we definitely need black mana. This is one of those times where I, I wish one of these cards was a meteorite. Meteorite would come down and really, really help me out and just kill this Sky Knight so it's one less card I have to worry about. Yeah, the spinner is very good here. All right. I'm happy to stay at 20 life and not do anything while my opponent seems to just draw lands consistently every turn. Bingo. Okay. So this is a 4-4 already? I think we go ahead... And this time, I think we just attack with a Bailoff because we have a play to play over it. Um, we just attack. If they have a removal spell, I'm not going to worry about it. But I will offer the trade. If they have a pump spell, we'll just bounce it and steal their guy. I 
I honestly think that if they do protect their guy, it's not a big deal. Uh, my guy was already going to die to that. Sure. Kind of led right into what I was planning on, because now this is a 5-5. Five five, and we can still hold up our bounce. I'm not milling here because we need black mana. The chances are there's another black land on top of our deck. Nice. Now shore up is pretty good here. Now we don't need this 4-4 four, four too much. And then I have like a, any great double block here other than these two. I think we attack with these. Because our snare spinner looks pretty good here. Our wall looks good on this board, so I'm happy to play it here. Because now their their attacks are still pretty limited, while allowing us to be oppressive. Can we just bounce their guy out of their hand. I mean, none of their creatures are that exciting at this point. Maybe we do just bounce it. Encounter their tail swipe. We could also shore up, but it's only one blue mana, whereas suppose this is a lot of mana, so yeah, we'll just bounce their guy. Like the biggest thing they do is replay it, put the counters on their Sky Knight, and we still trade with it with our spinner. And then they're stuck dealing with a 4 4 attacking every turn. Interesting. Okay. I mean, we'll take four for a turn. That's why we kept our life total so high. Okay. I think we still just attack for four. Like, if they want to triple block it, I think we just let it happen and we just keep playing to the board. Because then our Dust Knight can start getting in. Eventually, we're going to draw another Black Source. Oh, yeah, they just take four. Um, yeah, we'll just play a Knight and then play our land and pass. I thought my cat was meowing, that's why I took my ear, ear set off my head, and she was not. This is the music I was listening to. Must have had like a faint cat cry in the background. I mean, if they do have giant growth, what is that to me? Yeah, if they have giant growth, sure. You know what? If they have giant growth, they can have my spinner. Another paragon, my God. These people with their paragon. Okay, we got another black source. That's pretty good. Now, they have stopped us from attacking because, I mean, they st yeah, they, they have stopped us at this point. I guess we just go, we go flyer at this point. 
Barricon's a little bit of a problem, but not too bad. Easy block. The card is exiled now, and I don't really care about my barricade. I don't have anything I want to sack at this point other than barricade, so they don't gain any life. Thank you, Dust Champion. Nice. Um, yeah, I'll attack for one. If they want to block, I'll kill it. Yeah, I'm going to take... Take their piddle damage, because I do I want to cast both my cards here. A 4-3 and then my 4-6. And now we can hold up Shore up as well. Okay, that guy's good. Really? Let's say they have Oh, I don't think they realized that my... Okay, so they just concede. Woo! Alright, I'll take it. I thought that was kind of a poor attack, but I was like, I think they blocked with both my guys, just to make sure. Like, if they have the giant growth, it's plus five. Hmm, I don't know. Probably shouldn't block there, but... I was going to. <laughs> I think I was going to double block. I was thinking about, like, what could they have? If they had the giant growth, plus five is an eight, nine. And that's only seven damage, plus the one I could do there. I guess I could prevent. No, I, I definitely would have lost both my creatures. Yeah, blocking there would have been not a good choice. Other than blocking with the four, four. I probably just block with the four, four. Because we can't just sit there and take damage while they have a pump spell like that. Um... We have Spinner, and a Sentry, and a Shore Up. And we have two mana, but yeah, I think our hand's good enough. We definitely need to hit Black Mana. Hopefully that doesn't be the running theme of today, where we sit there and have to sweat. Hopefully our opponents just keep drawing nothing. I'm fine with playing this Snare. We did draw a Forest here. We do need to draw some of our Black Mana now. Maybe we should be up one more Swamp in our deck. Don't want that. I'm not attacking here, there's no point. Sure. Alright, I'll take it. It's a land. We're gonna take our beating here, because if they have Essence Scatter, we're in a lot of trouble. They don't care. We're still in a lot of trouble here. Man, we're just not drawing... Not drawing the cards we need here. No black mana means no removal. This is pretty bad for us. Yeah, that Morrow is going to get us. I mean, we get to save our guy for a turn. I don't want to take eight if I can help it. Ugh. We could still draw an untapped black source where we can just play swarm. If they have the double, I'm gonna. If they have double strike, get me out of this game. I just don't want to be in it. They definitely have spells that they they also had shore up in their hand because that that pause there definitely tells me they have they have something. But I'm pretty sure it's a shore up. Okay, we did draw the untapped swamp. We'll play this here. This is our answer to their guy. That's good enough for me. 
I'm not playing this game. Okay. We got Color Host again. That's not great for us, but we can afford a loss there. Um, yeah, we'll just keep playing. I'm going to keep playing the deck as is because uh, I don't think our mana is getting any better. Because if we did change anything, we'd have to take out an island, I think. And I just don't think that's worth it. Uh, our blue cards are clutch enough that we need to keep them. And uh, our black cards, we just need to draw a black mana. We just do. If we don't draw it, it's okay. I'm willing to lose to that deck. To be honest, if we got to play in curve there, I think we had a game. But, you know, Morrow is a pretty dangerous creature. And especially with the fact that we didn't draw any of our interactive cards outside of Shore Up. Which I was happy to have uh, is uh, kind of a kind of a hurtful card there, but yeah. Sometimes you just gotta let those go. You know, we made a choice to play five colors, or at least have the option to it. Domain's a tricky deck to play. The fact that we have two double black cards in our deck and black hungry cards probably should be at eight swamps, but. Hate how long this is. I'm going to cancel it here and then just rejoin. I find that happens to help out the algorithm a little bit more and getting us to set up into a play. Although there might not be a ton of people playing alchemy on here, the alchemy drafts, because they are a little harder. Although I don't think they're that much dif more difficult. I think some people just don't like the alchemy set. And honestly, let me know how you feel about alchemy. I really do want to hear some feedback about that. I think alchemy is very important to know how the set is and um, and how you, and where you stand. Me as a magic player, I like alchemy. I love arena. I love the fact that we get to play with alchemy cards because they're really fun. They're they're a fun card. Uh, I just think that people get upset and they want to blame the alchemy. The reason why they lost when it was a completely different reason. I think this hand is okay. My issue with it is look, there's no black mana in it. Um, and we got one of our splash factors here. Missionary is good. I think we're just going to mulligan. Although we... You know, this is actually decent enough to keep. I'm going to keep it. Missionary looks pretty good here, so... Nice. I'll just go missionary at this point. <clears throat> I mean, there's no point in us gaining life. I mean, we, we could attack and then they could attack back. And then it's the whole thing. It's not necessary, though. We draw black mana, we get to play Sojourner next turn, which is nice. We could just not draw land, which is not nice. I think Impulse is a heavily drafted card, and I think it's right to do so. It's a very good spell. Uh, we haven't gotten any... I didn't see any Impulses in our, in our pool, so... For us, at least... This was that neat card. So they have a domain of three. They're only going to get one card at random from that book. So it's fine. Oh, magic. You fickle mistress. Mistress. Yeah, we're going. We're going to next next one. We're going to have to up the swamp count. Although, I don't know how much this hand would be even better. Just not drawing enough land is pretty rough for us. Alright. We got a name Phyrexian here? Or Human? Okay, Human. Makes sense. So... I don't like 
like our odds this game. No blocks. The Dijin only gets blue cards, right? Alright, we're just gonna bounce their... I'm gonna bounce their missionary to their hand at this point. Because I have to. That way I can get attack in here. This is awful. Um, maybe I don't attack though, because they could have the removal spell. Yeah. Eighteen lands, right? We're playing eighteen? I think so. Oh my god. No, oh, we got land host. There's no way we're playing this matchup without our land. That's why we were playing 18. We want to draw them. You know? I'm not going to 19. That's too many. That's just another match where we lost because of that. I think we're going to trim down on a... Uh, We're going up. A, we're going up a swamp. That way we can be at eight. I'm gonna cut an island at this point. I don't mind having three islands, three planes. We only have this many cards at at this point. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. That really sucks. That I don't enjoy losing that way. That's like my least favorite way to lose. It's just not being able to do anything. <laughs> Although I think everybody would agree that's everyone's worst way to do anything. I'm not saying they're... I, I don't want to fault my opponent's deck. Their deck looked really fun to play. And it looked good. Uh, my issue was that I don't think it is as comparable if I actually got to play the game as well. Because then we could have had like a better back and forth. At that point, they knew that they were just free to do whatever they wanted. So you don't... Like, that's the thing. Is if you know your opponent's screwed, you can do what you want. And you know that it's not going to come at a cost to you. Uh, and I feel like that's why Magic... Uh, a lot of people get salty. Is that... They're salty because they know that they have cards in their hands. That if they had the ability to play those cards and play something else... They wouldn't be losing in that situation because you're not playing cautious enough where everyone's like this, this gripe of, Oh, it's not fair or that. I'm not saying that. I think magic's very fair. Um, uh, for the most part, I just feel like in the arguments that say that magic's not fair because of X, Y, and Z is absurd when people don't take into account to, to things that are outside the control of the, uh, of other people, you know, of themselves. Now, this hand, granted, is not that good. I probably should not have kept it, but... I mean, it, it's good. It's just not great. It could be definitely better. We'll play Barricade. It doesn't die to Lightning Strike. It only dies to the 4 damage spell. And if they want to use that on my guy, whatever. Sure. That's their prerogative. That's a good card. I'll take that here. I mean, if they're afraid of my wall, great. All right. They're going to get a soldier token on their instep, which sucks. 
Um, that is blue mana. We could definitely use that here. So, I think I'm just going to kill the veteran here. At least that's what I'm going to start with. And then I'm going to attack. It's important that we get this blue mana out because it makes our uh, any of our draws live. Because we can still take care of the recruit based on the cards we have in play, and we have we have the swarm if we really need to. Okay, it's an easy attack for me. Because if they do have something, they'll have to use it. Otherwise, they don't. Okay. We'll play a swarm here. And I'm happy to play that and pass. As long as we can conveniently attack, I'm going to do it. Uh, yeah. Would not surprise me if they have the fusion card here. The deal five damage to everything, but I can draw two cards in response, so I'm not really sweating anything at this point. Okay, so Oh, they have the bone they have the bone card? I guess we'll sack that here. If they, if they have that card, I don't really need them two for wanting us here at that point, or one for wanting us. I'd rather them, it cost them more than they want to give up. So at this point, we're up a card in value, so we have that going for us. Okay, Bite Down is probably going to go with that. Maybe not. I don't really see an opportunity for me to do that here. Rager's nice. Let's see if we can get him, though. I'm fine with just an attack here. We don't have a lot of cards that cost red. We have a, we only have the one white card that's in our yard, so we can definitely tap this freely. Go black and green here and play a rager. That is unfortunate, but having a land here is fine. Okay, they're gonna throw the token. We're gonna kill their cyclops. And then we're going to draw a card from our swarm. Since it's going to die, we might as well get our value for it. Wow. Okay. I mean, we do have a lot of lands in our deck, but, you know, this is way too many. Okay. I was afraid of them having, like, a Wrath of God there or something. Wow. Okay, this is really good. All our land floods were for some reason, and it was this card right here. Yeah, 
And we can start winning the game. I could play the leech here and kick it. But I don't want to. It's not necessary. Yeah, the Wandering Tree Folk is going to be a lifesaver here at this point with all the lands we've drawn. We're going to get to draw at least two card, uh, one more card with this. They're definitely going to have to kill this. Four in our yard, they have four in their yard. We have five permanents in play. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna jump on the double block here. Could even triple block here, but this is, this is fine. This is gonna cost them a card out of their hand. All right, they scry. Um, sure. Wow. Exactly punished. No more lands, please. Okay. Uh, I think at this point we have to kick. I'm. This guy has to be bigger. Yeah, I'm fine with kicking here. Because we still have the mist as well. Boom. I'll take it. That's pretty good. Now, I could have done that on the instep, but I just don't feel like that it's necessary. Um, seeing as how they can't do anything with that right now, I'm just going to play this and play that and pass. We have how many cards left? We have 12. And we have, we probably have no, almost no lands left. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Plus 5 is 12, 11, or 13, 14 lands. So we have 4 lands left in our library? Sure. Now they're setting up for their veteran, which is fine. They want to draw cards here. Okay. We'll just bounce their guy back to their hand. Definitely don't need them drawing cards. We don't need to take damage either. Because now we just get free cards. We have so many lands at this point. I'm just going to sacrifice a couple of them. I don't mind shore up here. This actually seems pretty good for a shore up. All right. Now we'll just play this. I'll play my land at this point and attack for six. Don't have any good blocks here other than chumping. Sure.
They can grow two of their guys with the, the sacrifice here. Really gonna do that? It seems like a, this is a knight, right? And this only does sold soldiers, yeah. Sure. We got plenty of black sources. I guess we'll only have yeah. Well, we'll eat a force this time. Yeah. Oops. Definitely read your card wrong. You can draw a card. I don't care. That can go to the yard. All right. We're at a point now where they have to block all of our creatures. There are at least two of them. It's a free trade. We get to draw a card off that. We'll kill your team. Oh, I did the math wrong. That's my fault. Already had lethal there. But I get to draw a card. Alright, we'll play a guy, and then we'll play another guy. All my deck is a bunch of bombs, so... Goodbye, Galaxy. All right, we got him. Yep, I, I got too AC. I, I, I got confused on my math there. I was like, oh, let's grow my guy. I could have saved my other creature. That would have been better. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. So that's what happens. Or, or we probably shouldn't have just saved anything. We should just let the results still laying. Because we still had... Uh, we were still killing these creatures regardless. So that was my fault. Chan 2. Let's go. Okay, this is really good. I'm happy we went with another swamp in our deck. Very happy. Because this is probably an island, this game, and it made me sad. But now we can be pretty aggressive. Now, they do get to play their knight. This guy's interesting, but they usually don't live very long. Uh, interesting. Okay. This is a really good combination. Uh, I honestly will trade for either of these with my dust knight. If they so desire. Yeah. I don't want them making tokens every turn. That is fine. It's fine because we have a big creature too. And we have a flyer here. That's a pretty card though. They'd probably have a removal spear here for the sentry. So I think we'll just go with uh, missionary. And get back our dust knight. They could have lightning strike. But I, I actually think they're sitting on... Uh, 
a different type of removal there altogether. Okay. Three in the air to me. That's fine. Definitely attacking, because we need to attack. Um, I think we're just going to play the sentry here. Uh, maybe not. Actually, I think we can afford to get deeper into our deck. Okay. Now, I might be playing around something that doesn't exist, but... So they showed me that I can't attack. All right, that's not good. We're not dead, but we're not in a great spot. Uh, now we're dead. All right, they got us. That'll do it for us. They got us here. We can't do anything about it. Wow. Okay. Maybe I maybe I spoke too soon. Alright, so we ended up going 4-3. This is a pretty tough format, I have to say that. But, you know, I like the results. Four, 14 gems. That's not a big loss for us. We get... We, we, we uh, lose 100 gems here. But we get 3 packs, a new set. And we get an experience that I kind of like. I feel like maybe we could have used a couple more duels in our list. And the ridge line could have been maybe a black green duel instead would have been better, but we didn't have that as an option at the time. Maybe we wanted a third century in here over, <clears throat> over maybe a sojourner possibly, but uh, overall I liked our draft. We could have done a little bit better, but we got to see the power of wandering tree folk, which is very good. Um, and then we saw that the Vesuvian mist was very clutch. In a lot of the situations, Shore has a lot more value in this format, as you see that there are a lot more removals in the for, uh, removal out there. So I think Shore is almost a two-up you can run. Uh, it's a neat little combat trick too, because you can untap your creature. So okay, um, that will do it for today, and uh, hopefully I can get some more videos out. I won't be on for the next couple days, but uh, uh, I'll see y'all later. And please like and subscribe. Let me know how you feel about alchemy in the bottom. Uh, what your opinions are uh, try to be a little cordial with it just I, I want to get a grip uh, uh, on that because I like alchemy but it doesn't mean that there ain't problems with it just let me know how you feel without further ado thanks for watching peace